The Kardashians have influenced millions of people who've copied everything from their clothes and makeup to their home decor and cooking. But this week, I turn to the Duggars, the Kardashians of evangelical Christianity, if you will, to influence my life, cooking up their famous tater tot casserole in my own kitchen. The Duggars are known for a lot of things. Prudish courtship rituals? Yes. Relentless procreation? For sure. Federal crimes? You bet. But culinary skills? Not a top trait of the Duggar brand. Yet since their TLC debut in the mid-2000s, fans have taken note of one oft-cooked Duggar delicacy, tater tot casserole. It appeared on 19 Kids and Counting, has been posted on the family blog, and most recently, was mixed up by Ginger Duggar on her YouTube show, Ginger's Kitchen. Though it seems to me like a dinner side, Ginger said it's actually wonderful for a quick breakfast. Of course, it hardly sounds like fine dining, but I'm not above a guilty pleasure comfort food and when Ginger admitted they used to eat this nearly every week growing up, I was curious to see why. So I went to Whole Foods, dropped $32 on ingredients, probably much more than they spend bulk buying in Arkansas, and got to work. I'll admit, though, that right off the bat, I didn't have much hope for this dish. The full recipe calls for 2 pounds ground turkey, 6 pounds tater tots, 2 cans of cream of mushroom soup, 2 cans of cream of chicken soup, and 2 cans of evaporated milk. Notice there's not a single spice listed there? Yeah, me too. Since I wasn't feeding a family of 21 or a small church congregation, I cut the recipe in half. I held back a whimper as I browned the ground turkey without so much as salt and pepper, then spread it in a thin layer on the bottom of a Pyrex dish and topped it with frozen tots. Then came the really unappetizing part, mixing together the soups and evaporated milk. I used different brands than Ginger did on YouTube, so thankfully, my mixture wasn't quite the same gloopy texture as hers was. That mixture was poured on top and the whole thing was baked at 350 degrees for an hour. When I pulled it out of the oven and scooped some out onto a plate, I prepared for the moment of truth and biting into it, I had my own kombucha girl moment as I processed the flavor. And that's when it hit me, what flavor? The tater tot casserole isn't bad. It wasn't as heavy as I'd imagined, nor did it have the weird creamy texture I'd feared when adding the soup. But I'll reiterate, there were no spices in. It was super bland, in desperate need of salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder, at the very least. I also can't wrap my head around the fact that it's never occurred to them to put cheese in it. Ultimately, I didn't want the food to go to waste, and the only way I was going to continue to eat it was by adding some spices after the fact. Grated Parmesan cheese on top also made a big difference. But please, Ginger and Jana, Jill, Jessa, and Joanna, for that matter, please, I'm begging you, don't be afraid of spices. Spices are your friend. Flavor is good. I also think this is the last Duggar recipe I'll be trying, because I'm certainly not getting anywhere near Jim Bob's infamous barbecue tuna and don't much care for deviled eggs, sorry, I mean renamed yellow pocket angel eggs.